What's good everybody? My name is Jay Fatty. Welcome back to another video. Today I got something really quick for you. I'm just going to show you how you can have the histogram and the heat map or any combination of those two pop up every single time when you open EQ2. Now if you don't know what I'm talking about, let me show you. When I open EQ2, it just has the histogram, which is this. But being, you know, on FL Studio for a while now, I also like the heat map. And I don't want to have to go down here and put the heat map on and the enhanced frequency every single time. The heat map is those red lines. So what I can do to have the heat map and the histogram on at the same time every time I open EQ2 is pretty simple. Now, I thought I had to go in here and do like, save preset and then save it as the default preset but that wasn't working what you're actually going to want to do is go up to the arrow here go to the option add to plugin database flag is favorite and when you do that it's going to hit you with this little window talking about please select or open the plugin database subcategory folders and then select add to plugin database again and you may be like what but once you hit that over here on the left, it opens up the plugin database. This is what it was talking about. And then it opens up the effects. And then you see all of these different um, subcategories of effects. Now, when I go over to add in an effect, you can see the subca same subcategories are right here. Now, you can go over to tree, simple, or categories down here at the bottom um, to change this. So if you want the categories, do categories. Now, my parametric EQ2 was already under the filter tab, so we'll just keep it at filter because that's what it is essentially. So over here, we're going to click on the filter tab, and then it's going to open up this with all the other filter effects. Now, on parametric EQ2, I can go into the settings, make sure the settings are on that I want, the heat maps enabled, enhanced frequency, and the histograms on. Now, I can go back and do that same thing, add to plugin database, flag is favorite, and it says it will be added to the subcategory filter. Okay. And now it just overrided this one over here. So now every time I add the fruity parametric EQ2 under the filter category, it's going to be with the heat map. Now, I don't know why it does this, but there's another, for me, there's another parametric EQ2 on this side over here, not under a category. And when I open that one, It doesn't have the the heat map on it only when I open the one under filter so yeah if this was a problem for you I hope this was an easy fix because it was definitely a headache for me trying to figure this out and shout out Matthew Pratt I believe that's his name yes Matthew Pratt for giving me the idea to do this video since he was having this problem as well so I hope this helped you, Matt, and I um, appreciate you watching my shit. I appreciate all you guys watching my shit. If you got any other, you know, problems that you're, you know, dealing with in FL Studio, hit my line, and I'll try to help you solve them. But, yeah, until next time, everybody, make sure you stay safe and stay striving. Much love, everybody. Peace.